this video we will be looking at managing the configuration profiles assigned to Microsoft Teams devices using the Device Manager in the Teams Administrator. First, from your Microsoft 365 Admin Center, you'll need to open the Teams Administrator. Next, you'll need to select Devices and then IP Phones. The All Phones tab will show all of the phones that have been registered with your service. Configuration profiles allow you to configure some commonly used settings that can then be applied to multiple devices. To add a new profile, you can click on the Add button. You'll need to assign a name to the profile and can optionally add a description. The General section allows you to enable device lock for the phones which will require the user to enter a PIN to be able to use it. Something to keep in mind is that the PIN you specify here will be the same for every phone associated with this profile. The phone's user can change it but is not required to. So if you want to have different PINs for different phones, you will need to create different profiles for each one. You are also able to set the language, time zone, and the date and time formats for the phone here. The next section is for device settings. Here you can configure whether or not the phone will use its screensaver, as well as the timeout value for the screensaver. The next section allows you to set the screen's brightness, as well as how long the phone waits until the screen will turn off. The next few options may or may not have any defect effect depending on what type of device they are applied to. You then have the option of enabling high contrast for the screen, and silent mode will disable all notifications for the phone. The screen capture setting will turn on or off the option for the user to take screenshots of the phone's screen. In the network settings, you have the option to enable or disable DHCP. If it is disabled, you will need to set a static IP, IP address. In that case, you would need to make sure that the profile is only ever assigned to one phone. You can enable or disable logging on the phone. You can also set a new password for admin access to the phone's web interface. Finally, you can enable or disable the PC network port on the phone. 